Is that like I want to be independent? <clears throat> like not like my I want my success to come from like me, and not because like someone like oh shout out to this guy with like the someone gave me a shout out or something like like no handouts. I want to like do it myself, right? Like no no like easy mode or whatever. It's just just like put in the work and like have that sense of like achievement that I did it because I put in the work to do it, not because someone else helped me and then someone else helped me. And I'm like, yeah, well, guys, now what do I do? What do I make my thumbnail? Oh, like, yeah, it's, yeah, that's, that's kind of, just want to have that sense of like that I, achie I achieved it myself. But then also while achieving it, I feel that I'm, like super lonely that I'm like the only one who's trying to do this, I guess, but, mm. but yeah. I mean, that's ad admirable that you want to create the success by yourself and you don't want it to be handed to you. You don't want to be like one of those rich kids who just got money from their parents and stuff. And that's, that's good. Cause for example, I, if I shared one of your videos, you'd get 2000 subscribers, you'd be monetized and you get 10,000 views. And even though that can sound nice, it's like, it's, there's a curse behind that. So fine. Okay. Yeah. You won't get a free handout, but when someone else is on the journey alongside you and you hop on a call, you know, frequently you just have coffee with them. You just eat on the same call and stuff and you just chat about stuff. Naturally, they'll tell you things that you needed to know. Oh yeah. You know, like I, I worked really hard on that video, but it didn't even get any good views. And he's like showing you the video. Then you end up watching it and you end up learning something there. Then you say something as well. Like, yeah, I didn't, you know, I've been posting this video. It's not been getting many views and he's looking at your thing and he's learning his beliefs are forming because of this. He's not really handing you like a silver platter. He's not handing you the subscribers. How, how else do you think people really learn? Because for being a YouTuber, there's not, trust me, I've looked, there's not that many like good books or anything like that. You, you learn just from trial and error, which takes a while. It took me seven months to get to a thousand subscribers, then another six months to get to like a few thousand. But things really change when you have someone to to look up to, someone to imitate, and also someone to discuss ideas with. Because when you've got that other guy who isn't a yes man, when you've got that guy who can disagree with you, who can give you advice, and he likes you, and you do the same thing for him, suddenly it's two brains that are now trying to conquer the world. And that's powerful. I wouldn't even see yeah. it as collaboration. Because when we say collab, we can think of like, you know, some YouTube, like little sponsor shout out. Oh, we did a collab on this guy's channel, guys, go watch it. I would say just literally, you make a few friends who are on a similar journey to you. You speak to them somewhat consistently because you're friends and you like each other. And naturally, just by being friends, you end up just discussing things. You end up talking about life. You talk about your, your channel and stuff. And they know that, okay, that's like, that, that means a lot to you. And suddenly you, you have this other person who you're bouncing ideas off. It doesn't even need to be someone who's a massive YouTuber. Really just needs to be someone else who's, who cares as much about the same goal as you do. He's going to learn on his own. You're going to learn on your own. Every few days you spend like an hour together on a video call, just talking, laughing, talking about life and what you know, just in general. And you end up naturally just talking about the goal of growing the YouTube channel. welcome so let's give you a, a practical assignment a little piece of homework then so we want you to actually take some action on this and not just get complacent straight after this call <laughs> so yeah. there's been a few guys in chat um, already commenting asking you to actually get in touch with them they want to do calls with you they want to um, DM you and stuff but do you recognize one or two of the names and send them a DM straight after this call. Can we trust you'll do that within one hour at the end of this call? <laughs>